If the moon seemed a little bit bigger to you tonight, you're not going crazy. Clear skies are allowing us to see the biggest full moon of the year. Very icy conditions on Saturday morning, and I'm most concerned about I-85 South, where we could have significant ice accumulations of about a quarter of an inch. That's enough to make roads lousy, no matter how they've been treated. Crazy spring weather happenings across the country. Yeah, from that heavy snow to thunderstorms and Eva, everything in between all across much of the South and the Midwest. Kansas digging out after getting dumped with two feet of snow and half an inch of ice. Good VFR, which simply means in pilot talk that they're gonna be clear of clouds for the flying this weekend. Producing some rain right now, especially along I-95 tonight. Some of what you're seeing on the far western edge is just moisture itself that's not reaching the ground. So we've got a very strong low pressure center that's been pushing off to the northeast. It is dragging a cold front behind it. Around Albemarle, you can see along Highway 73 and 52, a couple of showers there. And then some real light rain here, mainly east of 77 tonight. But see how it's all changing over to rain? The reason for that is we're actually warming the air above the surface. You know right now that this guy's mom is not happy. Why didn't you wear your coat? It's 45 degrees outside. <laughs> I, I like the cold, but I just like to be prepared for the cold. There's a huge difference. What, did you not listen? <laughs> well, yes, and it's going to be cold for a while. We'll see Dow again in April when it warms up. <laughs> but we are seeing temperatures here this morning in the middle 30s, and we've got snow to talk about in the high country. You get all that aggression that you had maybe with that one uncle or cousin that was driving you crazy over Christmas. You can get it all out tonight at a little event known as the WWE Smackdown. And here are your high country snow totals. Maybe not enough to necessarily do a snow angel like Snow Ducky is. Derek James, Mr. Forecast himself. What's with this Mr. Forecast? It's like Mr. Movie Phone. Your forecast <laughs> is clear skies. We're expecting a temperature of 40. Two degrees. It really hasn't been very October-like. It's been more Sumtober. I combined summer and October. You see how I did that? I gave you a birthday present. You didn't give well, me you, one. You were tell he was beefing it up for like two weeks. Uh, I'll let the family feud continue <laughs> while we uh, do forecast on the fours here right now. Mommy and Daddy are fighting. Jigga brought out hundreds of fans to North Carolina A&T. And now, for a look at our weather, our own Jigga man, <laughs> Derek Big Pimpin' James. Oh, but yeah, you know how we do it at Fox Charlotte. We make it rain. About $17 worth or something like that. And I had to borrow 15 of it from John Nicely. Hi there, meteorologist Derek James. I have a feeling that might show up on YouTube. I and embarrass my wife. This is the third weekend in a row that we've got one of these developing in the Gulf and working its way toward us. For your second violation, you'll get a fine of $200, and every violation after that will cost you $300. Bucks. If that's not enough to get you to turn your water off, five or more violations and sea mud could turn your water off for good. Derek, snow last week. What about suntan oil this week? Yeah, a little bit. And I think uh, as the pastiest member of the team, I could definitely oh, use it here over the next couple of days. But yes.